Well, it's just before kick-off here at Edgeley Park, home of National League North Club Stockport County, who, of course, many of you may remember, used to be a football league club up to uh, 2011 and indeed were then relegated further to National League North two years later. They're going well in National League North. They've won the last four games. They're, they're uh, placed third in the table. And in those four games, they didn't concede one single goal. So it's a team very much in form against a Truro City side, very much down on numbers. Manager Lee Robinson and his assistant Michael Meeker, who indeed, the latter is one of the uh, substitutes named. For instance, he has uh, three players cup tied. So 17-year-old Will Buse comes in for his third goal between the sticks for the White Tigers. Mel Thompson is eligible again after suspension. Austin Booth moves to midfield and coming in in the uh, centre back position is uh, Jordan Bentley, the loony from Plymouth Argyle. Truro today have got it all on, I've got to say, here at Edgeley Park against a, an informed Stockport side. But you never know, this is the FA Trophy and let's hope the White Tigers run can continue. Perrin Films, based in Truro, continues to provide coverage of Truro City's home games, predominantly at Tree U Road now until the end of the season, and occasional and very important away games. But they expect people to abide by their rules and regulations as to when uh, the pictures can be used and also when to use those pictures. So, just a, a polite warning from Perrin Films that if the conditions, their rules, regulation and conditions uh, continue to be misused. It could be the last time you'll see filming provided by Piran Films on Furo City's games. Here comes Adam Thomas on the left-hand side for the home team. Stockport County with Darren Stevenson. That's a nice layoff to him. There's the first goal. Matty Warburton has rifled that one in unceremoniously after being set up by Stevenson. The move initially started by Adam Thomas in midfield, and Matty Warburton, Stockport's leading goal scorer, adds to his tally of 11 goals to make it a round dozen as Stockport take the lead very early on in this FA Trophy second round tie. I hope that isn't. Uh, a sign of things to come, but it's Stockport 1, Truro City 0. Turnbull, the Stockport County in midfield, directing things. Minihan, Thomas, taken out late, taken out late, and this could be the first booking of this cup tie. As he left Thomas floundering. You can hear the uh, chants from the Stockport fans behind us here on the television gantry in the, uh, on the pop side, affectionately known as the pop side, for Steve Massey, manager of Helston AFC in the Southwest Peninsula League, who uh, started his career here. Here's Thomas with a great chance, 2-0, and it fell from Thomas's shot to Warburton, who wraps it home for his second goal and Stockport County's second goal, couldn't really miss, and the top scorer now makes it 13 for the season, and two goals to nil on the day. This is better from Truro, controlling the ball better than they uh, did in the first 20 or so minutes here at Edgeley Park. Good, uh, nice little ball, diagonal ball into midfield there by Dan Rooney. Tyler Harvey on, on the ball, Puts in a left-footed shot, but easily collected. No worries there for Ben Hinchliffe in the Stockport goal. Front Tyler Harvey actually flew up to uh, Stockport from Exeter Airport this morning. Went to Manchester Airport. Was feeling unwell yesterday, but is feeling a lot better today. And uh, goodness knows what time Tyler got out of bed this morning to go to Exeter and then to join his teammates in the team hotel in Cheadle. And he has to make the return journey as well. So a long, long day for Tyler Harvey. And at the moment, it's not going to be a memorable one. Nice flick on by Mulhern to Warburton. And it's three and it's a hat trick. What a finish by the top scorer in acres of space, fed by his partner in crime, Frank Mulhern. 
and Warburton just took one step to his left, nobody around him, and from just 15 or 16 yards, with a left foot shot, easily beat Will Bewes for 3-0. County again through Adam Thomas. Thomas, so instrumentally many of County's moves. Oh, it's back to Stevenson shoots 4-0. That's an easy goal. Just a minute after Warburton made it 3-0, Adam Thomas broke on the right-hand side for the hosts without any challenge whatsoever. Had all the time in the world to square it across for Stevenson, and he only half hit his shot, but it was enough to evade Will Buse's uh, right hand. A valiant effort to keep it out, but um, regrettably and unfortunately for Truro, this is going to be a, an FA Trophy afternoon to forget because we haven't been playing half an hour yet and it's 4-0. Minhan's a busy, attack-minded right full-back for Stockport. <coughs> losing the ball a lot, losing possession a lot, relinquishing ground, which... Uh, Truro really need to make up. They need to get outside their own half, but the only way they're going to do that is by safe passing. And the ball comes across, here's Warburton, oh dear. Now that time, <laughs> he really should have done better and finished it and put it over Will Buse's head into the roof of the net. Aaron Stevenson shrugging off Austin Booth. Austin Booth slipped in the process. Stevenson took advantage. Mulhern goes one way, then another is just blocked out. Turnbull! Ooh, that wasn't far off as well by the county captain. Could have found its way into the top corner of the net. Past a helpless Will Buse, but uh, thankfully for the White Tigers, it went just wide of the target, and they're let off once again. It's a throw to the visitors, who have to make the long, long journey back to the southwest. Later on is Warburton. <sighs> Fired that with some venom. Warburton playing very deep. A lovely threaded ball to Stevenson, holding off the challenge of Austin Booth. Warburton's through, and it's goal number five and goal number four. Easy as you like, held off the challenge of Austin Booth, and Warburton more or less practically walked it home under the body of Will Buse. And in the 20th minute of this second half, it becomes Stockport County five. Truro City nil. Played by Ash Palmer at the back for Stockport. It's a good play by Jordan Keane. Jordan Keane into the area to Duxbury. Here he is. Oh, what a save. Great save. Best save of the afternoon by the teenager, Will Buse. Point blank from... Frank Mulhern, Mulhern's tried his best, he's done everything to try and get his name on the score sheet, but what a terrific save by Will Buse, well done.